Hello everyone, um, I just want to go over a problem regarding Punnett squares that I encountered earlier this semester that I really didn't like at first because I thought it was tricky. So that's why you see a frowny face uh, right here. So let's move on to the problem. So you got a patient coming in and they want to know the possibility of being a carrier for sickle cell disease. Both of the patient's parents are carriers and the patient uh, show typo and the patient shows uh, no sign of disease. What is the probability that the patient is a carrier of the disease? So of course with sickle cell disease to be affected by the disease you have to have uh, alleles little r little r. If you are completely unaffected and you are not a carrier then this is what uh, you would be. If you are a carrier this is what you would be. Right? So now we have to use um, the table and we have to use this question stem and say okay well parents are carriers and the patient shows no sign of the disease so again parents are carriers and patient shows no sign of the disease so now we got to draw our Punnett square right all right so let's say this is the dad and let's say this is the mom. So then we have to fill in our boxes of all the possibilities that the patient could be, or at least the kids of the parents. Okay, so before I go through this, uh, just pick a guess to see which one you think it is, and uh, once you're done, unpause the video. Now that you've had a chance to try to solve the problem on your own, let's go over it. So, first thing you gotta do is you have to note that the patient shows no sign of the disease. What does that mean? That means you immediately eliminate this box right here. Because if it were this box, then the patient would show signs of the disease. But as it said in the question stem, the patient shows no sign of the disease. Therefore, these three right here are the, here, let me see. So these three right here are the three possible uh, genotypes of the patient, but we don't want to know the probability of the patient being a care of the Z. Therefore, it would be 1, 2, divided by 3 possible. Therefore, the answer to this question would be 2 thirds. I hope this helps.